In a separate terror case, a guilty plea from a Rhode Island man charged with terrorism, 25-year-old Nicholas Ravinsky admitting to conspiring to help ISIS. As WBZ's Christina Hager reports, prosecutors say he had a plan with two Massachusetts men to behead a conservative blogger. Nicholas Ravinsky avoids the potential life sentence he would have faced had he gone to trial for plotting to help the terror group ISIS. I feel in the interest of myself and the people of the United States, I should pay for the crimes that I have committed, he told the judge. Ravinsky was arrested, along with another terror suspect, David Wright, after Boston police and FBI took down Usama Abdallah Rahim in a Roslindale parking lot last year. Police had said Rahim attacked officers with a knife. The three men had been under surveillance, suspected of plotting a terror attack. During the plea hearing, the prosecutor detailed a plan to behead anti-Islam activist Pamela Geller, reading excerpts from letters Ravinsky wrote to a friend in prison. One referenced plans to place their juicy heads for display. In another letter, he wrote, this is going to be worse than Genghis Khan. Can't wait for them juicy necks. Nicholas Ravinsky uh, is a vulnerable young man who was seduced by by extremist ideology. Uh, it's important to note he never actually hurt anybody, never came close to carrying out the outlandish plans that were discussed. The charges Ravinsky has pleaded guilty to are conspiracy to commit acts of terrorism transcending national boundaries and obstruction of justice. He faces sentencing in March. At the very least, he could get 15 years behind bars, at the most, 22 years. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.